Data was just released that there was a seven-fold increase in foreclosures in January. Foreclosures, they're on the rise all across America, and this is just the beginning. I'm going to show you why this is just the beginning and how things are about to get a lot worse, but also how you can prepare for yourself and your family. My name is Tommy. Let's do this. In January, there was a seven-fold increase in foreclosure starts as compared to December, with roughly 33,000 loans referred to foreclosures, according to a report from mortgage data and analytics company Black Knight. Foreclosure starts are people starting the foreclosure process, and that's a huge increase from December. The lenders repossessed 2,634 U.S. properties through completed foreclosures in February 2022. That might not sound like a number, but it's an increase of 70% from last year, although it is still down 45% from the last month. See, foreclosures are going to become a lot more prevalent for a few reasons. One is that forbearances that many people had on their mortgages, that is starting to come to an end. We saw in the pandemic millions of people get forbearances and put their mortgage payments on hold. Now, people are starting to have to pay, and if they can't pay, their home will go into foreclosure. Let me show you these charts. A foreclosure filing is when a mortgage lender files a lawsuit in court to win the right to sell the home of someone who is delinquent on their mortgage. This is the start of the foreclosure process. And you can see here, U.S. properties with foreclosure filings, look at this. 2006, right before the whole subprime mortgage mess meltdown, okay, it was at an all-time high, foreclosure filings, and then it dropped. And, you know, from the last 10 years or so, um, there hasn't been a lot of foreclosure filings, but you could see right here, we're starting to see that uptick take place. Foreclosure starts, these are the homes just starting the foreclosure process. Same, you could see the uptick taking place. Now it's important for you to know there are judicial and non-judicial foreclosure states. Know what kind of state you are in. If you are in a judicial state, the lender must file a foreclosure suit in court to be allowed to resell the home. In a non-judicial state, a lender doesn't need to seek court approval to sell. So the process is a lot faster. Here are US completed foreclosures. Now REO stands for real estate owned property which in essence are uh, homes owned by the lender or the bank. And you can see here, it's starting to pick up. The next reason why foreclosures will start to become a normal thing is because that like button hasn't been hit. Just kidding. Another reason why foreclosures will start to become more prevalent is that companies across America are starting to lay off employees and they're starting to place hiring freezes. Now, these are the beginning signs, guys. Last year, anyone could get a job and companies were hiring like crazy. Walmart, one of the strongest companies in America, just had their biggest drop in stock price since 1987. Now, this was due to weak earnings last quarter due to higher wages, higher fuel cost, and consumers spending on food instead of merchandise. When Walmart starts having problems because of the economy, that's when you should take notice, and myself. We are at the tip of the iceberg here, and we're starting to see the beginning signs of a housing market meltdown. Better, one of the largest mortgage companies in America has been laying off thousands of employees. Netflix, they're starting to lay off employees as well. What will happen next from these corporate layoffs is people not being able to afford things like their mortgages. We will see devastation on the housing market with massive foreclosures starting to take place. Now with all that bad news, I think we are gonna see a lot of deals of a lifetime in the housing market in the next 12 to 24 months like we haven't seen in a long time. I encourage you to pay off all consumer debt, especially with rising interest rates. You need to become indispensable to your employer and save up all the money you can. We are most likely in a recession now, and that will most likely be confirmed by the Fed next quarter. You need to have cash in hand ready to buy real estate, most likely late this year or sometime next year, maybe in quarter two or the third quarter. Housing is a lagging indicator and it hasn't picked up with the overall health of the market yet like we've seen in stocks.
Now, if you are informed, you can make the best decisions and prepare with your family. And if you want to stay up to date on the housing market and everything that's taking place minute by minute, hour by hour, day by day, hit that subscribe button and share this video to someone who needs to see it. Thank you for watching.